Now that all of the points have been digitized in each frame, let's discuss how to visualize the results. We should first point out that any of the options for the visualizations and overlays can be edited in the Tools Options menu. Of course, all our toolbar options are also selectable from the menu bar here. First, we must make sure the Digitize button is turned off before we can use these functions. We can use this toolbar button to calculate the distance between one point and the origin with the origin located at the bottom left of the screen, or between two points. Note that the distance values change as we play through the video as these markers move. Angles can be calculated using this toolbar button. We can calculate the angle between two points and the x-axis, or two vectors defined by either three or four points. As these options are selected, the window will display the details of the angle calculation. Angles can be displayed in degrees, radians, or grads. Now that some distance and angle measurements have been created, these values can be graphed in the graph pane and are listed in the digitizing pane. The Note tool is used to place notes in the video image. Notes can be useful when showing the viewer points of interest on the video. Notes can have a pointer or just a simple text box. We select the Note tool and click where we want to place the pointer, then click where we want the note. If we don't want a pointer, we double click the desired location of the text box. If the text box is too small for the note, we simply resize the box by using the mouse. To edit the note, double click the text box. A note is only created in the current frame. If we want the note in all video frames, right click on the note and select Copy Note to All Frames from the pop up menu. The Scaling tool allows us to scale the 2D coordinate system by specifying the distance between two landmarks in the video images. In order to use this tool properly, it is imperative that we know the actual distance between the two points. After we have scaled the coordinate system, the point coordinates are displayed in the units that we choose. The stick tool allows us to draw a line between two points, creating a stick figure. Note that if we want to create a stick figure with more than two points, we need to activate the stick tool for each line. Before using the stick tool, we need to have the view stick tool option turned on. The next toolbar button turns on and off the traces of the points. The traces show the trajectories of the digitized points. To cancel any of the toolbar button operations, we can either press escape or press the toolbar button again. To delete any of the visualized measurements, we just right-click on the measurement and select Delete. The other buttons on the toolbar are widgets. Widgets are miniature MaxTrack applications that attach to the outside edge of the main window. Currently there are five widgets, a calculator, a calendar, an event recorder, a notepad, and a wizard. The details of these widgets can be found in the MaxTrack help file.